welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers as always. And thank you for subscribing. Um, if you're just passing through, uh, hit that subscribe button. I think uh, you'll enjoy the channel. We have a lot of fun up in here. Yeah, we do. Well... Um, I got a lot to go over in this here vid. Had some questions, folks looking for parts, and they were some parts. They asked for the parts. So I got to get some clarification on the situation you understand. So um, we're going to be uh, doing quite a few things, um, seeing some pretty neat stuff this video. So stick around and watch. Don't blink, you miss it. But, um, I had a subscriber inquiring about a tiller handle for a, I think, he's, I can't remember what he said, he, 25, 20, something like that, but is this what you're looking for? There's the cable, you can see that goes in and out, in and out, there's the kill switch, there's the wires, there's how it bolts on, this one's off 35. So hopefully you can see that distance there. Looks like it's about, do I have a measuring thing? Of course I have a measuring thing. So roughly the inside of that is about two, two, little over, little over uh, two and an eighth. Yeah, two and an eighth on the inside. So, RK, if that's what you're looking for, let me know. I have one. There's that one. So, don't know if it'll fit what you got, but there it is. All right, the other one, I can't remember. The subscriber asked me if I had a hood latch. Of course I have some hood latches. Is that what you're looking for? There's a couple styles. This is the 80s kind of style. If that's what you're looking for. I got it. If you're looking for the other kind that came like on the older 25 that pushes up from the bottom, I have those. So let me know if that's what you're looking for. Okay, then I had um, Hopefully a subscriber uh, sent me a comment that he was looking through his uh, manuals and he has a 1988 20 horsepower Johnson, I think he said. And he said his manual said to set the gap at 40. Well, all I can do with that is show you this is the actual manual um, 1988 hopefully you can see that um, Johnson Evinrood and I went to the and this is out of the a box set shop manual for the 88 motor I have all the manuals um, all the way up through the into the e-tex um, but here's the recommended hopefully you can see let me get back here um, somewhere right in there my camera lens is smudged but right there for 20, 25, 28, and 30 QL77JC4 gapped at 30. An alternate would be the L77JC4 gapped at 30. Um, and then it says basically for the 25 commercial you're using a fixed gap or perma gap. The L78 which is kind of like you know it's like the Mercury spark plugs it doesn't have the little gap in there it just jumps all around 360. So, um, whatever a 25 KC 
it uses the fixed gap. So according to the manual for your motor, 20, 25, 28, 30 gets gapped at 30. That's what my manual says. And like I said, I don't know how good you can see it real quick, but I have all the box sets of manuals up there. There they are. And I got more on the shelf over there. And I got them, and I got them, and I got them. So, alrighty. So hopefully, I, I don't know what kind of manual you're using. Um, but the manual I got for your motor calls for 30 that I can see. Um, now, um, as some of you might have uh, saw in the news or whatever, we had an earthquake, a quaker, a shaker. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of this video. Here we go. What you're hearing is the tsunami alarms. They're telling us to evacuate our houses and get to higher ground, so... So people are scrambling. is a seismologist and director at the Alaska Earthquake Center. Um, and here's what he had to say about the earthquake in Chignik. Um, all early signs indicate that this earthquake is on the, uh, what we refer to as the subduction zone. It's the, the interface, the, the plate boundary, if you will, between the, where the Pacific plate uh, thrusts underneath North America, a, a very standard uh, type of earthquake in this area. West went on to say, It is the style of earthquake which wow. tends to generate tsunamis. Once again, the earthquake was a 7.8 magnitude, 75 miles south of Chignik at about 10.12 p.m., about two hours and 14 minutes ago or so, 12 minutes ago. Um, and we are still currently under a tsunami warning here in the Kodiak Island archipelago and much of the Kodiak Island borough, including the Katmai Coast area, is also under a tsunami warning. Well, one last shot of the house in case it uh, gets washed away. Don't get me wrong, I, I'm not making, I'm not poking fun at this. It, you know, it is a serious thing. Um, I'm at, like I said, 72 feet. And I've got my boat bag right here in the truck. It has two or three handheld GPSs. So I'm going to ride on up around the town, see what's going on. Um, I put us, we have an emergency food bag and clothes bag and got our meds um the house is locked down and uh hopefully we'll make it through it fret you're on your own brother all right um been just busy as they come doing that that don't like doing that but got to do what you got to do but as you can see maybe as I spun around but I'll show you I'll show you um, it's a rainy day it's just yuck outside so 
I could work on some chainsaws and lawnmowers. But this. Hey, the weather done went to outside. So instead of dragging another outboard in the shop, I think I feel like putting on some rain gear, putting on some heavy weather gear, and going out and looking at some nice boats, some old boats, some new boats, some who knew boats. That's what I want to do. You want to do it too? You want to come with me? Let's go. Pretty neat looking old pop rivet boat I came across. I'm guessing aluminum and M&M. And M. Don't know what's under the tarp back there, but we're going to look. She's rough. Nice cabins. My camera gets a little drippily. I'm sorry it's raining. I want to know what outboard's under there. Maybe it's probably like an 88. Ooh. Yeah, it's an old V4, I think. Yep. Yeah. Evan Rude Johnson. Johnny Rude, what it really is. V4. Yeah, nice looking old boat though. Make sure I ain't in. Yeah. They used it for commercial fishing because it's got a commercial fishing number on it. ADF and G number. Place to get in out of the weather. I don't know what make it is. I can't see anything. Let me look around the back, see if I see a sticker or anything. No. It's got weeds growing up around the other side. I don't know who makes it. Got some, I like the little port hole. Yeah, pretty old boat. Never been a big fan of pop rivet boats. They always seem to have a little leakage. And I don't see no name. It looks like an old bellboy or something. And whoever painted the water line must have had a beer or two. <laughs> that could be made into a pretty old boat. Let me back off of it a little bit and see if I can. Do some better. Foutage. Now here's some more you don't see much in my part of the. My neck of the woods. Force. On a bay liner. That's probably the original package there. They look pretty darn clean too. I've never seen this boat around town, out at the harbors or anything. It's just been sitting there. Which is funny because normally around here we get this old green mold and stuff. But those, those two, that pair looks pretty good. Yeah, they're nice. Sitting on a nice trailer and everything. I, I can't believe I've never seen this boat around. Now here's one I've been looking at for my 50 jet. Um, it's in rough shape too, it would need a lot of work. But you know, it's a semi-flat bottom boat with a little bit of a of a V-hole in the front. The transom's completely gone from it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a beamy boat with nice lines. And boy, that 50 jet on there would would make for a nice boat. Got a nice diamond plate, like bow, step area. But it needs a lot of work too, so I haven't approached the guy about it yet. Yet. Now look at this thing here. That's a big Hamilton jet on it. You can see it's got special seats. Um, 
And what this is is a heavy weather boat used by the Navy SEALs. It says U.S. Coast Guard on the life ring there, but um, we have a Navy SEAL base here. And this is one of their training boats. And they lease the property from the Coast Guard. But you can see those seats. They buckle in uh, for the rough ride there. Um, they're they're kind of like saddle seats, like you would sit on a on a horse. And they got shoulder straps, harnesses, all kind of stuff. And they hit that beach. Look at that thing. Isn't that something? Got radar on it. Look at that trailer. Woo! Isn't that something? Well, that's nice, isn't it? Look at them uh, chines under there and stuff. Nice boat. This is a nice little double ender. It's been sitting on that trailer for, I don't know, over, over five years that I know of. And they moved the trailer around, but I've never seen the, uh, the boat off the trailer. And it's, it's a beautiful little boat. I would actually love to own that boat. I think my friend George knows who owns it. He has. He said it has a little um, three-cylinder Perkins diesel in it. Um, if, I, if, if I'm remembering it correct. Cute little boat. Very seaworthy little boats. But it just sits on that trailer. Don't know what's up with that. It's done well. Big, look at there. 425 V8s. 850 horsepower. That's what I'm talking about. Say Big Mama. Look what it says right below Big Mama. Student driver. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think the price tag on a couple of them will cost you? Woohoo! Yes, yeah, sir. You cannot hide the money. Show enough. Outboards in the air. Outboards in the air. Yeah. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. No, 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 no. Outboards in the air. See, they're up in the air. They're up in the sky. Ooh wee! Okay, so I want to um, give you a little bit of a peep at what came in in the last couple of days and what we're going to be doing. Let's go look. right there can you see the transom bracket can you see what he did he broke did it so woo, we're going down here see it's all broke did smush it did smush it did he did a good job Says he dropped the boat from a sling while trying to load it onto a barge. And if that ain't bad enough. Oh dear. You're munching away, ain't you? Keeps looking over its shoulder. There's another one over there somewhere. Where's my brother or sister or mommy? Where's my brother or sister or mommy?
Hey, baby. Hurry up. Get across the road. Go, go, go. Bolted to the back of the skiff. They were trying to load it on to what's called a tendering barge. And it fell out of the slings. Now, if that ain't bad enough luck, look at the back of the cowling on this 30. The 30 was inside the skiff, just laying in there when it dropped. So he took out both outboards. And he didn't own them. He was just the tendering guy, the owner of the outboard. Uh, outboards and boat. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of damage happened to the boat. But he's not real happy. But I sold him this motor no more than three months ago for a thousand dollars. And this is what happened to it. So I got to put a new pan, which means pulling the power head and blah, 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 blah. We'll get it. We'll get it. Still ain't got to the little 15s. Got to put a lower unit. Got to get that one running. We'll get him. And lawnmowers. And chainsaws. But, this is the one that's on the rack next. A three cylinder. Forty horse. Yammy ha. Precision blend. He said it stumbles. Well, look at the shape it's in. Dirt, salt, crud. Look at that. Look at how filthy. Look at all that salt baked on right in here. Look at that paint starting to go. All the salt up here. It stumbles. So oh, that's what we got coming up. Busy, 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 busy. And uh, so I don't know what order I'll take them in, but uh, I'll get to them as I get to them. And as we know, in this little shop, you never know what's coming up out there. Could be anything, any, anything. So that's going to be a wrap on this one. And thank you for watching. Now don't you forget to subscribe to Inside Outboards with Cody Bass.